episode and a new series that is strictly going to be for YouTube. This is going to be a Let's Play rotationally of Roaring Heights, which is uh, like the Great Gatsby Town The Sims 3 created in the store. And I've actually never played this before, just bought it recently, so we'll be playing it together for the first time. And I've chosen 14, I believe, pre-made families, and we will be playing them each for four days, roughly. And we're going to let their stories unfold. So, let me double check the number of families we're playing with. We, of course, have a spreadsheet for it. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, 14 families. They're all different. Um, they're all definitely going to need some makeovers, but we will get to that. <laughs> ever played Sims 2 for Renaville, you will recognize them, at least Consort Cap. This is the start of their family from Renaville. That's what intrigues me to get this neighborhood. Okay, so we're going to uh, definitely do some makeovers, like I said, for these characters, but I do want to go over who they are, and we'll introduce each family before we actually start playing. So this video is just going to be an introduction to the families. I'm not going to go over the whole hood yet, but we will get to that as we play. So firstly, let's introduce the character. This is our founder, Consort Cap. They're all going to get makeovers. So this is the grandfather that is uh, rules the cat family in Veronaville in Sims 2. This is him as a young man. He wants to be a CEO of Omega Corporation. He's already in the business career. He's already level 7, so he's well on his way to that. He is a Scorpio. He is a young adult. He likes classical music, a goopy carbonara, and blue. He is a workaholic frugal, athletic, a coward, and ambitious. So, he only really knows his family. He knows a couple people in town, and his actually his mother and father live in town as well, so we will be playing them too. This is his wife, Contessa. She definitely needs a makeover, not looking very happy. She wants to be surrounded by family, so we will work on that for them. She's also a young adult. They all pretty much like um, classical music, which is good for the time period. It is the 20s here. She also likes Scooby Carbonara and uh, Hot Pink. She is brave. She has no sense of humor. She's a technophobe, family-oriented, and grumpy. And she is actually not supposed to have a career because she's a stay-at-home mom, so let's fix that real quick. I do have them all set up with NRAS so they won't age or start new jobs or move out or get new relationships unless we're playing them. So that is good. Oh, she already wants to have a child with consort. Perfect. We will we'll be working on that ASAP. So yeah, she doesn't have a job. And this is their oldest daughter, Gonorel. If you remember her from also Sims 2, she has the huge family, like four kids. And she is eventually going to definitely want to get in the business career like her father. Uh, she also likes classical music, same food, Goopy Cabernera and Red. She is already family-oriented, ambitious, and friendly. She doesn't know anyone else in town other than her family. And this is Reagan Cap. Uh, she is also in Sims 2. She is married, and her brother lives with her. If you recognize her from Sims 2, she's a toddler now. 
She likes the same things pretty much as her family, but she likes yellow. And she's a loner and athletic. And an Aries. Alright, so we'll be playing this family first for four days. And I'll show you a bit of their house. Very pretty vintage style. They have a nice pool. They have lots of money. And we probably will be giving a makeover to the houses as well, but we're not going to worry about that at first. Okay, so this is the outside of their house. A very beachy and a vintage style. Alright, so next we're going to go to the Thebe, Thebe family. I know it's, um, it's like Greek or Roman. Thebes, maybe. Um, and that is consorts, mom and dad, so we'll be playing them next in the rotation, so I'll go ahead and introduce you guys to them. Okay, this is the Thebe family, and actually I'll go ahead and read their bios to you guys as well, I should have done that. So the Cap family, after vacationing in Warring Heights, Consort and Contessa decided to move in with a new baby on the way, while their two children adjust to their new surroundings. So. They are going to want to have a baby right away. So, Thebes, Thebe, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's Hector and his wife, Androm, Andromeda, maybe? Andromache? <laughs> are pleased as Bunch to be reunited with their son, Consort, in Roaring Heights. They have all sorts of plans in store for their grandchildren and not enough time. Will the Thebes plan go as expect or, uh, expected, or will their grandchildren pull away from them? So let's check them out. So basically, if you thought Consort was controlling in Sims 2, his parents seem to be all sorts of ready to control his life and his children's lives. So this is Hector. He's in his car going somewhere. Looks like his wife is ready to go with him. This is Consort's dad. He wants to be an astronaut. So he is already a flight officer in the military, level 5. He is an Aries, a technophobe, family-oriented, a party animal, ambitious, and an angler. So he is interesting. He does have a good relationship with his son, and he doesn't know too many people. This is Consort's mother and Hector's wife. I think it's pronounced Andromeda, but it doesn't look like that. Andromache. She's also supposed to be... Whoops. We'll have to fix that. Why don't you guys get out of the car for a minute so I can fix this? Yeah. She's supposed to not have a job, so. She is a stay-at-home mom. As most women are in this town, some do have a nice career, but it is the 20s, so. Okay, she wants to be a renaissance sim, reach level 10 with three different skills. She is flirty, a genius, excitable, family-oriented, and a light sleeper. So she has a lot going on for herself. They have a very cute house right on the water. And we'll be playing them a second. So I love their dining room, nice kitchen, living room, and a nice upper floor. So they're not going to be too crazy. I think he'll just be working on his job um, before he ends up becoming an elder and retiring because he is close to it. And she's just going to be wanting to learn a bunch of things and have fun. And they both want to, you know, have lots of grandbabies and help with them. Okay, so we'll move on to introducing you guys to the next family. <laughs> Okay, our next family is the Morgan family. Here they are. It's a huge family. It would appear that David and Donna's marriage is perfect, but in reality it's filled with many cracks. Donna can't bring herself to admit to seeing David and Samantha cassettes flirty exchanges. 
so instead she occupies herself with loving her children. Can Donna and David keep their family together? We shall see. Start with the founder, David. He also wants to become the CEO of a mega corporation, but he is in the journalism career at level seven, so we will not be changing his career. So unfortunately, he won't be able to fulfill that aspiration. He likes electronica, cheesesteaks, and yellow. He's a workaholic, a great kisser, genius, ambitious, and lucky. So he, his boss is Samantha Cassette, who we read about in their bio. She and he actually had an affair. I don't know how long it lasted, but she is with child, his child. So that is interesting. Obviously, his wife doesn't know because they still have a good relationship. But he does know a lot of people around town. I guess as a journalism career, you have to do that. This is his wife, Donna. She should not have a job. Hold on a second. Yeah, she should not have a job. Unless you set them to retired, they decide to get one on their own, but we will fix that because she is a stay-at-home mom as well. Oh, yeah. Okay, so she also wants to be surrounded by family, raise five children from babies to teenagers. So they already have, I think, three kids, so she probably wants a few more. <laughs> she is a natural cook, neat, good, family-oriented, and a green thumb. So basically the perfect housewife for the 20s. And she has lots of friends around town as well. This is their oldest child, Joseph. He is a teen. He hasn't gotten his lifetime aspiration yet. He already has a good sense of humor, charismatic, athletic, and friendly. So he is doing well so far. And he is friends with a teenage girl in town. I don't think we're playing her family, but if she becomes important, we will. This is their daughter, Caroline. She is excitable, a heavy sleeper, and easily impressed. Not too bad. She doesn't really have any friends her age. And their youngest daughter, possibly last child, Evelyn Morgan. She is brave and a genius, so all of their kids are set to do well in life, I would say. Let's look at their house. It's very pretty. can already tell where everyone sleeps it looks like okay and I like that it's pink and purple on the outside very 20s vibes okay so next we are going to play his boss slash mistress who lives by herself and she is pregnant with his child we have had to pause the pregnancy um due to unrest but hopefully that works <laughs> fingers crossed Okay, so Samantha Cassette with her beautiful looks and brilliant mind, Samantha can get any man she wants. Her latest affair in the office with David Morgan left her pregnant and David's wife without a clue. Were Samantha and David meant for each other or was this just another torrid affair? It seems to me that it was just a one-time thing because he's not even romantically attracted to her anymore, it doesn't seem like. But we shall see as we get into their Okay, so this is the lady. 
Let's see if it still shows that she is pregnant. Yeah, I think it is. It should work, hopefully. Okay. All right, so she actually wants to be a heartbreaker, so I don't think she wants to settle down with anybody. Uh, she wants to be the girlfriend of 10 different sims, so we have our work cut out for us with her. She is flirty, a workaholic, great kisser, commitment issues, and easily impressed. So yeah, they're not even romantically interested in each other. They're just friends. I think it was just a one-time thing that unfortunately did leave her pregnant. There is no birth control back then, really. She is also obviously in the journalism career. She is a freelance writer. And she's a lower level, level than David, but it shows that she is his boss, so that's weird. Anyways, <laughs> let's look at her house. It's, I believe, a one-story, yes, but it's still very cute. Love the zebra print in the living room and the cheetah print's bed. Very cute. She has a very nice backyard. Okay. So that is all there is to the Cassette family. We will be dealing with her being a single mom in the 20s, which is very scandalous. But I think she likes the scandal. She's that type of girl. Okay, so this next family you guys are going to recognize from history. This is Bonnie and Clyde, which when I found out they were in this neighborhood, of course we had to add them to the rotation. They'll be very fun to play. When Bonnie and Clyde met, it was love at first sight. Clyde is a natural daredevil who's shown Bonnie a new side of life. Bonnie is an aspiring writer and loves to write about her exploits. Will Clyde eventually lead Bonnie down the wrong path? <laughs> Will he or won't he in the Sims version of her tragic love story? <laughs> So we'll go ahead and just start with uh, Bonnie here, Bonnie Davis. They are not married yet. She wants to be a professional author. And she's a young adult. Uh, she is over-emotional, a bookworm, athletic, evil, and a computer whiz. So she is the brains behind the, the dynamic duo, I guess. So yeah, they're just romantic interests. They're not married. Um, she is a in the criminal career. She's a cut purse, level two. So she is not working in any sort of writing career right now, but maybe she'll sell some books if she survives long enough. <laughs> then we have Clyde Reeves. Lovely face there. <laughs> he wants to become a master thief, of course. He is a daredevil, hopeless romantic, klepto, evil, and ambitious. <clears throat> and he is already a getaway driver, level four of the criminal career. This is their house they share together. That's pretty simple. They do actually have a lot of money to start out with. Alright, so that's them. Their house is pretty secluded so they can run away from being evil. Alright, so next we're going to be playing the Nest family and I'll show you them in just a moment. Okay, so this is the Nest family. Throughout his life, Elliot has always been on the side of good, whether it's stopping traffic to help an old lady across the street or finding the owner of a stray simoleon. He can't stand crime of any nature and is suspicious of that dandy guy. 
Will Elliott uncover the truth to Michael Dandy's wealth? So yeah, there is a very wealthy businessman, Michael Dandy, in town. We are not playing his family uh, because there's a lot of single men that are in the business career. Um, but we can definitely investigate him with Elliot Nest, but we are not going to be playing him. I don't think he would be very interesting. But if he becomes integral to the story, of course, we can add him to the rotation. This is Elliot Nest. Of course, like I said earlier, we will give everybody makeovers, but they do look pretty good already. He wants to be an international super spy, so he wants to reach the top of the law enforcement career. He's already level six, vice squad. He is brave, good, grumpy, athletic, and an angler. So he is a really good person, but he does get grumpy from all that stress. Um, he doesn't have any romantic interests yet, so maybe that will happen for him during his round. He is already an adult, so he is well into his adulthood. If you didn't know, um, in Sims 3, there is two stages of adult, young adult and adult, before they reach elders. I love his couches and his living room. This is so gorgeous. And he has a huge house, so maybe eventually he will find someone to share it with. What is on this floor? Oh, it's just like a hangout room, party room. He does not have a lot of money, though, for having such a big house. Okay. So that is pretty much him. Um, he will be on a rotation. Okay, so our next family, if I can find them. Okay, right here. The Harbucks family. So although Oliver, Olivier, maybe it's Olivier, had more money and possessions than ever, he was missing one thing, a family. Fate took a strange turn when one day an orphan named Shirley appeared on his doorstep. Will Olivier finally help Shirley realize her dreams of stardom? So this family is basically like Annie, pretty much, but um, also has the famous Shirley Temple as his daughter that he has now adopted. So it's pretty much like Annie mixed with real life. Shirley Temple was a famous uh, child star in this time period, so it does make sense. Okay, so this is Olivier Harbucks. He is extremely wealthy, and he does want to be surrounded by family, so we'll have to see if he ends up adopting more children or if he ends up falling in love he is already an adult so he doesn't have you know an extreme amount of time but he is a man he's a slob he has a good sense of humor he's good he's family oriented and artistic he doesn't really have any friendships or anything other than his new adopted daughter and we did just put him in the business career he didn't have a job um, I feel like I might make him retired. He's pretty much just focused on starting a family now that he has all this money. This is his adopted daughter, Shirley Templeton. So she definitely wants to be an actress, as, you know, Shirley Temple did in real life. She is frugal, ambitious, and friendly. She doesn't know anyone other than her new dad, And their house is obviously gorgeous. It looks like a Roman uh, villa sort of thing. We definitely are going to need to hire some help around this house. He might actually have a live-in nanny as well. I haven't quite decided. We can always decide that when it is their round. He does have this like whole like 
kind of nursery thing set up already for girls. So maybe he'll adopt some more daughters. Run his own little orphanage. <laughs> but he wants to raise them from babies to teens. So he might be wanting to find a woman to be with. We'll have to see what he wants. But their house is gorgeous. So I'm excited to play them. And I do want to let you know I did edit the seasons, so it will never be winter in this town because it is obviously a warm climate. We can tell from all the foliage around, so it's going to be spring, fall, and summer. Okay, so next family we're going to be playing on the rotation is... The Fields family. These two actors are rising stars on the vaudeville scene with their mesmerizing and entertaining performances. They've not only won the hearts of many Sims, but also their simoleons too. Will Mary and MD's show continue to grow, or will it become yesterday's news? So they seem to be um, acting in the same show. They're both in the actor career. Uh, but they have no romantic interest in each other. I don't know why that is, but we will discover that uh, as we go along. They seem to just be roommates and work together as well. already going to get to know each other as if they don't already know enough about each other living and working together. So this is MD Fields. He is a daredevil, a heavy sleeper, easily impressed, charismatic, and lucky. So yeah, they are best friends and he has some friendships with the Morgans, the large family, and, uh, closer to the beginning of our video. He is a background extra, level one in the film career, and he has a lot of charisma skill. And also, he's already an adult. And this is May West. She is brave, clumsy, childish, charismatic, and ambitious. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't look at... They both have the same lifetime wish, which is golden tongue, golden fingers, master the charisma skill, master the guitar skill. So we'll be working on that for both of them. And she is also in the film careers. They work together. And she is friends with some of the Morgans as well, but that's about it. Okay, so let's look at their house. It is a very nice apartment complex sort of thing. They have what seems to be like a performance room. And these are the bedrooms. So they do have separate bedrooms as well. Of course, they have quite a bit of money. And they are not the celebrity status, though, yet. So they must just be getting their uh, career together. Okay, this is our next family. What is this exactly? Trash in front of her? Okay. Now, these are our first, actually, uh, celebrity sims. That is interesting. This is a Frank Astaire. He wants to be a rock star, reach level 10 in the music track. He is an adult. He is brave, flirty, great kisser, perfectionist, and easily impressed. 
he is just in a romantic interest with Judy Rogers, who he lives with, and he only knows his boss other than that. He is a level 5 music talent scout, so that's awesome. Level 2 celebrity. She, however, is a level 4 celebrity, Judy Rogers. She wants to reach level 10 in the music career also, but she wants to be uh, a hit movie composer. So she wants to direct it, and he wants to make it. She is also a level 5 music talent scout, and they don't know anyone, really. She is a great kisser, unlucky, inappropriate, easily impressed, and ambitious. So they're both very easily impressed with each other. I love their house. It is very gorgeous. It looks like an apartment, but it's like huge, like three or four stories. Let's keep going. Uh, there is two bedrooms. Probably one is a guest room. I think that might be it for their house. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that is them. I don't know why these chairs are up like that. But yeah, this will be a fun family to play being our first celebrity family. And she's very pretty. All right. So let's move on to the next family. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even read the Astaire's bio. Already a star in her own right, Judy never shined brighter than when she and Frank danced together. Frank may lack curb appeal, but is flowing with talent. Can these two stars shine even brighter, or are they doomed to fizzle out? We will find out. Okay, so that was the family that we just got introduced to. Our next family in the rotation is the Ruth family. He is definitely based off of uh, Babe Ruth, the famous baseball player in the 20s. The great Sambino, as he's been known, is a national treasure. Gabe Ruth's performance on the field is the best, bar none. Recently traded to the local Roaring Heights sports team, Gabe has much to do in a short amount of time. Will Gabe help turn around Roaring Heights' lagging team? We shall find out. So this is Gabe Ruth, our baseball player. He wants to become a superstar athlete, reach level 9 of the career track. He is an adult. He is a workaholic, loves the outdoors, obviously athletic, a light sleeper, and ambitious. He doesn't know anybody, and he's a starter in the professional sports career. He is their number one uh, baseball star. That's pretty much it for him. We'll look at his house. It's a very pretty. I like this gold fencing. We will definitely work on getting him a romantic interest. I love this dining room. And obviously he has a workout area. Nice plain bedroom and some guest rooms. Look at the, with all the walls up. And I think he's, like, right across from the beach, I want to say. Yeah, right across from the bayish area. So he is more in the bay. All right, so that's about it for him. We'll go ahead and move on to the next family. Okay. All right, so our next family is one that was not pre-made. It's going to be... A starter family for us and her last name is Dietrich I did create her so we'll go ahead and get into her in just a moment I did create her. Her name is Marlene Dietrich. 
a very famous actress from the 20s. She is gorgeous. She definitely wants to become a superstar actor, reach level 10 in the acting branch. She doesn't know anyone besides her boss, who is a celebrity. That's interesting. Um, she will be fun to play with. She's our first family that, you know, I created and not pre-made. She's over-emotional, star quality, irresistible, a hopeless romantic, and ambitious. I kind of based her off of a Marilyn Monroe, but also this famous actress um, that I saw online. So she will be very fun to play with. And this is her house. Pretty simple. She lives right on the beach. That is going to be so much fun for her. She's going to want to explore and meet some men around town. So that's pretty much her. Not too much um, to go through with her, but she's going to be very fun to play. All right, on to the next family. I think we have two more. All right, our next family is the Picard family. They are a little bit different than other families we've played. When Nancy's husband passed away, she immediately fretted for her future. And the only hope for survival the only hope for survival lie in her children. Gerald continually rejects his mom's attempts to send him on dates, and Francis thinks her smarts will get her ahead instead of getting married. Will Nancy find another way to survive? So let's go ahead and get into this family. Okay, so we're not quite sure how Nancy's husband passed away. It doesn't explain that. They don't quite have the memories like they do in Sims 2. But this is the founder for now, Nancy Picard. She wants to be swimming in cash. She is an adult. She is unflirty, excitable, frugal, a mooch, and a schmoozer. So she's very worried about their financial future. She does have a good relationship with her daughter. She has some man friends. She does have a good relationship with her son. For some reason, she's very good friends with this teenager girl. I guess she's friends with her daughter, maybe. And she knows uh, Samantha Cassette. So she does work at the local spa as like a part-time job, level two. Her son, Gerald, is her only hope for the future. He is going to inherit this house. He is already an adult. Let's go ahead and look at him. He looks very worried. Um, so he is a loner. He's a technophobe. He's clumsy, bookworm, and a coward. So he's pretty nerdy, um, and he isn't really interested in meeting any women to start a family with yet, and that really disappoints his mom, but they still get along, it seems like. He does work as a mausoleum clerk, an epitaph writer. I think that's how you pronounce it. So he definitely does not enjoy the living as much as he does per se the dead who can't speak back to him and judge him. <laughs> So this is their house. Very cute. Looks like her husband did leave them some money before he passed away. This is the daughter. She is in high school, Frances. She is also pretty nerdy. She does not have a lifetime aspiration yet. She's a loner like her brother. She hates the outdoors. She is a bookworm like her brother. And she's a genius. So I'm sure she's going to want to do something successful instead of worrying about finding a husband, but that is what her mom would want her to do. She knows pretty much the same people as her family. Yeah, she has friends with Katherine Kramer. Okay, so that is them. Let's see the outside of their house. I love this, like, pastel blue, and they have a really nice, like, deck over the garage. I like that a lot. This is really pretty. And they also live near the bay. All right, so that is them. We're going to go ahead and get into our last family. All right, this is our last family, the Hoove family. Clark is a man who gets what he wants, including Louise, who puts on a fake smile, much to her dismay. Clark is too busy cooking up the next scheme, and Louise desperately wants attention. Can this odd couple stay together, or was their marriage doomed to fail from the start? Okay, so this family is going to be really in control of the town, politically, not financially, and we'll see why in just a moment. Okay. 
Okay, Clark is gonna be like running the town politically. He is in the politics career. He's really the only Sim that's in that career. His outfit is very suave. He wants to be the leader of the free world. He is a mayor. He's level seven. Uh, his traits are workaholic, so he's dedicated to the job. He's hot-headed, charismatic, a klepto, so he's probably a crooked politician, but he is amb ambitious to continue to get up that career ladder. So he is friends with the Morgans, the large family we saw earlier. He has uh, acquaintances with Elliot Nest, who wants to be a spy in town, and he hates this lady who I think is a villain in town, but we aren't playing her. His wife, Louise, is very gorgeous. She does want to be a heartbreaker, the girlfriend of 10 different Sims. So uh, I think this is just really a marriage for show. I don't think she loves him. Maybe she loves the status and the money. They do have a lot of it. She has commitment issues. She is inappropriate. She's grumpy. She's a snob and a computer whiz. Yeah, I think their marriage is more for financial and status reasons. So they will be interesting to play. Let's look at their house. They have a little workout room. They, again, live right on the bay. Their kitchen is upstairs, which is a little different than we've seen so far. And so the top floor is a bedroom, bathroom. It's gorgeous. I like the silver, uh, gray, like, tones. All right, so that is them. And we actually skipped a family, so this is not the last family I need to introduce you to. There is one more, and we will get to them. They were earlier in the rotation, but I did miss them, so we'll get to them next. Okay, the last family that we need to introduce is the Simovich family. He, Henry Simovich is a well-known entrepreneur with a long history for technical advancement in the automobile industry. His revolutions have made him rich beyond his wildest dreams, yet he is still compelled to work the daily grind. Will Henry ever take that vacation he promised himself? So this is our only um, elder sim that we'll be playing. We do really need to find him someone um, so he can have an heir because all of this fortune will just be gone. Um, he is super wealthy from the car industry. He loves cars. He's a workaholic, a vehicle enthusiast, a genius, handy, and a perfectionist. He does want to live in the lap of luxury, have a household net worth of 545,000 smoleons. And he's also level 10 in the business career, power broker. He doesn't know any Sims in town. So this is, uh, he's going to be earlier in the rotation, but this is the last family that I have to introduce you guys to. Let me actually double check that. Okay, so yes, this is the last family that we're going to introduce. Uh, next episode, we will be playing our first family for four days. That will be the cat family that we introduced at the beginning of the video. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys are excited about this series as I am. It's going to be a very fun. And thank you guys for all the love and support. If you could please like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.